it got in my car. Nobody. All right. It, it's just that that girl, I don't know where her fucking mind is. Nobody fainted. Nobody passed out. Kiseki dropped her ass. That's what it was. I told her not to jump in any of my fights, and I'm not jumping in yours. We're not jumping nobody. That's how be she. If they want to jump, let them bitches jump. But we're not jumping nobody. So I think she was really mad at the fact that she sat there and got her ass whooped. Bitch, I hit yeah, my phone. What, what I seen when they tried to jump on her, you ran over there and you snatched her. Oh, no. so yeah, that because y'all not jumping her. Best. And I made that very clear. I never left E.T. alone not one fucking time. I said my final thoughts. And yeah, I'm she the fuck didn't, the stage, bitch. It's three in the morning. On, on the stage. You still gonna stay here? Why? Why are you still here? You done already fought everybody. You trying to you trying to go out with a bang? <laughs> you thought fucking a cameraman was gonna get you back, and it's not. Now you sit there and regret it and shit. Like I'm done. I'm done with her. I'm done with her. I'm done with her. And I tried to avoid her at all costs. She was blowing me up talking about she was in Vegas. Honey, I don't want to have nothing to do with you. You out here telling lies on people. Now, bitch, you leaking numbers and addresses and shit. She ain't leak my address. She leaked my number. I changed that motherfucker quick. I don't give a fuck. I was being supposed to change that bitch anyway. But, bitch, you're dumb. You're dumb and you're done. That's what it is. You fucked up your own chance for you to go attack Natalie. And that's the, the, that's the bitch that was taking care of you the whole time. I didn't get it. I even asked her why. Tell me because Natalie don't check up on her and stuff. Girl, Natalie barely check up on me. But then you say y'all won't, won't talk it like that. If that's the case, we was not. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna share my call. I'm gonna share my call off. I'll call her. She won't answer. She'll call me and be like, I'm doing something. And then I'll end up calling her back the next day. We'll spend a little time on the phone talking about the baddies. Nothing else. I'm even trying to get the girl booking. Me and Natalie, fucking booking manager, is trying to get her because people are asking her to book. I'm telling her she, she's so caught up in Saseki. That's the only thing she was caught the fuck up in, and it started to get on my last motherfucking nerve. She didn't want to make no money. She didn't want to do shit. Everything for freedom. But when it got time to come travel for you to book your flight, like I told her I would help you, like it, well, all this other shit. She want to be concerned about the baddies. She want to be concerned about fighting to Siki. She want to be concerned about being in these group chats with these motherfucking goddamn kids, fans and shit. Like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do, there's only a certain thing. I have a 15 year old. And for me to hang around a bitch that at the same age as him is not fucking happening. It's not happening. I'm so sorry. I can't do it. I got one kid. I don't want to be around a fucking grown ass child that I got to keep monitoring and telling people shit and and and, and all this no, i'm i'm done i'm fucking done and that's why i never said anything she didn't do all these interviews about me and spoke about i never said nothing because i'm like just going about yeah i heard it first you already know what happened just going about the fucking business and i wanted her to go on about her business but bitch you want to leak people's fucking number like a weirdo like a kid okay okay how you doing? I'm you I'm so you going. No more. I'm sticking to bitches I know. It won't be no more. Oh my God, I love her. N none of that. Because I'm sick and tired of people making it seem like I'm the bad person when they don't even know what the actual fuck is going on. Even with the Slim situation. Y'all don't know why I be uh, befriended Slim. It had nothing to do with the show. The bitch was using me for money. And I got tired of it. I got tired of sending her money. I got tired of calling my friend. And she's ignoring my calls because she got what the fuck she wanted out of me. Y'all don't know shit. I done been through so much shit with these bitches. Wow. I done been nice. I done gave and gave and gave and gave and gave. And I'm tired. Why the fuck can I not have the same friendship back in return that I give out? Right. Nobody never, I don't want y'all to buy me shit. I don't want y'all to do nothing for me. Just be, be there. You know what I'm saying? Slim knew what the fuck I was going through with my depression and everything. But guess what? Slim was calling me talking about, hey, you got this? You got that? You got this? Oh, my God. My mama's about to put me out. I have nowhere to go. You come here. Okay. Next thing you know, she back on whatever fuck she doing. Now, I'm going to send her the money. Over. It's crazy. Right. It be the cra 
craziest shit and people really be thinking that it has right. nothing to do with the show. It don't have nothing to do with the show. I don't befriend these bitches because what the fuck? It's what the fuck they do in real life. They show their real fucking self. And I can't deal with it. I'm so sorry. I got enough already on my plate. You think I want to deal with somebody and they mental? No, I cannot do it. E.T. on there talking about she retarded. She got screws and she retarded and all. And I'm just sitting there looking. Then lied to me. First of all, then lied to me. Lied to me about... Because DJ Sky, when we were leaving Jamaica... DJ Sky had a booking with French Montana. So they have to take E.T. off the private jet and put her in a bus with the other girls to travel back to Montego Bay. So when E.T. got back, she's screaming in the house, screaming and screaming and screaming, Riley! Riley! I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? She's talking about, y'all left me. Nobody left you, E.T. You are here. And what? she's talking about, y'all left me with them bitches and I don't fuck with them. But you were kissing them on a bus, telling them how much you love them and how much Hold you could have told they them did how much you could have spent time with them. Yes, it's, and she did. Because mm. all, even some of the producers on the bus saying she did. Kissing them while they sleep. Come out. I wish I would have had a, uh, could have had a great, a better time with y'all and all this other stuff. But you doing this shit behind my back? These are bitches that we just got in school with. And you telling them that you love them and that. You wish you could have had a great time with them kids and Biggie and shit. Like, and then going to lie to me about it when I asked her about it. She said, no, that's not true. Girl, you lied. You lied. The cameras wasn't on. No, you hate, was... hate liars. I hate liars. She lied. She lied about it. It did happen. Why do you have to lie about things that you did? Like, I don't like shit like that. If you felt like you wanted to be their friend, you could have been their friend. ET. You didn't have to follow behind me. You don't have to follow behind me. I'm not your motherfucking mama. And I never told that girl to follow behind me during the show. She did what the fuck she wanted to do. And that's what people felt like. I didn't tell E.T. to do it. They did say that was your lap dog. She did what, exactly what she wanted to do. And then the, the shit backfired. Who you blaming? You got me fucked up. You're not about to make it seem like I... <laughs> Because I ain't never told you to do shit. You was looking for camera time. Same thing with Slim. Slim wanted to jump in all my shit. Camera time. I told her, when we was like, Slim, stop jumping in my shit. I don't need you to jump in my shit. I don't care because when I see my sister's fight, I see my... Like, no, because then that's going to make us look fucking bad. Right. And she kept doing it. So look, boom, you're gone. I feel like E.T. did that shit because she felt like she wasn't coming back. She kept asking me. Do you think they're going to bring me back? I'm over here asking Zeus, are you guys bringing back E.T.? Told me, hey, that's something we got to talk about. Okay, no problem. But well, that's what a lot of them do. Like, let me expose Zeus because I might not come back. Like, that's not a good, that's not going to make nobody else want to work She didn't leave everybody's addresses, even the bosses. She didn't leave like, this fucking address. She's just that is weird. crazy. Just weird as fuck. And it's childish. This is a show. And as much as bitches love them checks, they don't care about being you know, fucking baddies. They don't not care about being on baddies. They care about them checks. Literally. That's all she care about. She care about the checks. And she don't even, she didn't even have a bank account. I had to tell the girl to start a fucking bank account so she can get paid. I try to help this girl so many fucking ways for her to sit there and try to make it seem like, bitch, I, I didn't get a motherfucking thing to you. Not a motherfucking thing to E.T. at all. Natalie didn't do shit to E.T. Natalie is a mother. She has her own life. The bitch is a businesswoman. She's traveling. What? Let me tell you something. I didn't even give a fuck. Natalie paid me to do a booking, right? And she's so busy that she forgot to pay me. I wasn't even, I, I knew, I know Natalie has the money. So I wasn't tripping. But she remembered, hey, I still owe you this money. Here you go. Let me give it to you while I'm right here. It was probably like a month that went by, a month or two. That she forgot to pay. It was okay though. I'm not a broke bitch. I'm not about to worry about it. Natalie is one of them type of women. She's gonna go. She's working. She's going. She's working. She's going. Right. Only person she's really thinking about is her fucking daughter and her That's husband. Right. She ain't thinking about calling us. I'm like, hey, how are you doing? Bitch, you got a BBL. You got a fat transfer. Do you? That's not life threatening. Right. 
But come it's on now, that's her, that's your like boss. Me. Like your boss is not your friend. That's anybody. Like you should be looking at your boss as your friend. I just don't understand. Like why would 